Hello Power Fam. Today's power topic is pressure in gases for grade 7, 8, 9. In short, for lower secondary. Please watch this video till the end because I'm going to tell you very important things. Pressure in gases. Before you blow up a balloon, there is little volume of air inside it. The balloon is open on one end, so the pressure of the air inside is the same as the pressure of the air outside. As you are blowing into the balloon, you're adding more gas, gas particles. Particles in a gas move freely and collide with the walls of the balloon. Every time the gas particle collides with the wall of the balloon, it exerts a small force on the wall. The more particles there are in the gas equals more collisions happening with the wall, which means there is more force on the wall. Look at the picture of a tire on the left. The air inside the tire is at low pressure. The pressure is not enough to support the weight of the car. If more air is put inside the tire, the pressure will increase. More collisions will occur inside the walls of the tire, pushing the tire outward and supporting the vehicle. This is important. The volume that the gas occupies decreases as the gas pressure increases. The volume that the gas occupies increases as the gas pressure decreases. To understand this, I have made a diagram for you. So this is air. Imagine the, these, uh, these blue highlights are the air particles, the gas particles, and here, the volume here is increased and the pressure is decreased. But on this second diagram here, the volume is decreased and the pressure is increased. Let me explain. So this is pushing the air inside now it is not pushing but on diagram number two we have put some weight on this object so that it can compress the air so on diagram one here there is not much pressure because the gas particles here are more free than the gas particles in diagram 2 because the gas particles in diagram 2 does not have much space to move and they are saying that they want to get out so they are causing more pressure on the container here when they have less volume less space Pressure and depth in gases. The pressure in a gas increases with depth. So as you can see here, I've made this line graph to make you understand better. As the pressure increases, the pressure in a gas increases with depth. So as you go deeper in the ocean, the pressure increases so for example you have this bubble at this level on the ocean but then as the bubble goes down it becomes smaller because there is more pressure the pressure increases with the depth the earth's atmosphere is made 
from gases. The atmosphere extends to a height of about 400 km above sea level. At sea level, atmospheric pressure is highest. As you go higher in the atmosphere, two factors that affect atmospheric pressure change the number of particles in one meter cubic of air decreases so the concentration of gas particle decreases also the weight of air above your current position decreases pressure and temperature in gases so th the things i'm telling you now are some factors that change the pressure in gases as the temperature of a gas of a gas increases the speed of the particles in the gas increases also and when they are moving faster their collisions exert more force we have concluded that increasing the temperature of a gas will increase the pressure of the gas this is an image of a pressure cooker High pressure can be used to cook food. Water and food are placed inside the pressure cooker and it has a sealed lid which does not let the steam escape when boiling water, increasing the pressure of the gas inside. And this increases the temperature. So therefore, pressure cooker, that's why they use less energy. On top of the pressure cooker, there is a way to control the pressure and valves that allow steam to escape once the required pressure has been reached. These are the questions I've, I've prepared for you so that you can test yourself and test your knowledge. Question number one. Submarines are ships designed to go underwater. You have to explain why submarines that go to the deepest parts of the oceans must be very strong. You can find the answer for this in the video. Number two, explain why the wall of the dam is thicker at the bottom than at the top. For this question, you might want to watch this video, Pressure in Liquids. I will give the link in description. Number three. Benjamin notices that the pressure inside the ball is lower on a cold day and higher on a hot day. Explain why the pressure inside the ball is higher on a hot day. Thank you very much. Please consider subscribing the channel.